How to spot a fake Louis Vuitton belt. Hey everybody, I'm Actoris, and welcome back to the only channel that covers in-depth videos of cars and streetwear. And today we're kicking it back with and how to spot a fake video. You guys have been really enjoying these videos so far with the Bape one and the Gucci one. So I figured might as well do the Louis Vuitton one. So before we get into how to spot a fake Louis Vuitton belt, be sure to like and share for that YouTube algorithm as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. Now let's get right into it. So the first thing you can do to spot a fake Louis Vuitton belt is not even like looking at the belt, but looking at the box, looking at the color of the box, looking at the text of the box, making sure everything lines up and it's centered with all the letters, make sure the color, the right shades and everything, but most importantly how it opens up a fake box would get caught like that or something like that while real box slides off really smooth so if you opening the belt and it gets caught or something like that and it's not smooth opening up then you know it's probably a fake but yeah opening up the box and taking it out one thing you should note is a dust bag if the belt does not have a dust bag it's kind of a red flag doesn't necessarily mean the belt's fake but they should have the dust bag. Also, they should have one of these now. This is like, almost like an authenticator. Has a little QR code right there, kind of like StockX where you scan it and see where the belt came from. After inspecting the box and the dust bag, now let's get into the belt. So the first thing I like to check with Louis Vuitton belts is quality. Louis Vuitton belts are a luxury good, so they should have really nice and premium quality. So first thing I would like to check is the stitching. Making sure the stitching is all nice and straight, making sure there's no threads out of place, because if so, it's probably made in a different factory. Also just feel the leather and everything, making sure that feels right. Kind of hard to tell if you don't have a real one on hand but just make sure it doesn't feel cheap because if it feels cheap it probably is cheap it might be a little weird but give it a little width you know does it have a genuine leather smell once again this is kind of hard if you don't have the real ones on hand but if you have it's a good way to check if the belt came from the factory where it should have been made all right after you check the quality and that seems all right it's time to check the buckle so the buckle is specifically aligned with every belt so the alignment is wrong it's a big red flag if it's fake or it could also just be very very well worn when alignment has been a little bit knocked off but yeah also check the lettering a lot of times as you would see in this photo right here the lettering would be a little bit messed up it would be a little too thin in some areas or a little bit crooked while you're checking out the buckle check the corners the corners should be pretty nice and sharp detailed once again these are all premium belts so the cutting should be perfectly it should not be kind of like rounded or anything clean cut is what you're looking for also check wear of the belt make sure that there's nothing like weird like frails or anything like that once again that shows that the belt was cheaply made and probably came from a different factory now here's one of the easiest ways to check if a belt is fake and that is with the pattern alignment all louis vuitton belts have pretty much the same pattern alignment when it comes to their monograms there should not be one belt is different than the other so if you're getting this specific belt all the belts that were made like this have the same alignment so once again here's a photo of what it will look like if an alignment is misaligned the alignment should look like this and the one in the photo proves that and you can see right there the fake one what that would look like and then check the other patterns and stuff like that like the little top and bottom parts right here if you see this part is like lower than the bottom part or higher than the bottom part it's a good chance that it's misaligned and that that is a fake belt and then that belt would be indeed fake so you check the quality you check the buckle and you check the pattern alignment now it's time to verify the codes all Louis Vuitton belts come with a set code right there if you don't know what these codes mean one of them means your size another one should tell where it was made so this one says louis vuitton paris and then right here this set of codes right here i believe is the model number all louis vuitton belts have different model numbers so make sure the one you're getting has the correct model number on it because say if you get this model 
and this number right here is wrong for this model, then it's probably a fake. But they're probably smart and put the correct model on there. What you should be really looking for is one quality, make sure the stamps are all nicely indented and aligned correctly. It can be very, very hard, but it's the little subtle things that will give it away. Another really nice thing to check if they have it is the receipts. So I do have my receipts all in order. Just kind of Google around receipts for Louis Vuitton belts. If you don't see your very specific receipt, it could be a forgery of a receipt, meaning they faked the receipt. And also check the addresses on the receipt itself. Make sure they're actually Louis Vuitton stores. But um, yeah. Once again, it's a very nice thing to have. And if they don't have the receipt, please ask if they do because it's kind of a red flag if they don't have the receipt. Not saying all Louis Vuitton belts without receipts are fake. It's just a little sketchier dealing with them if they don't have it. So you've checked all of that, but you're still a little weary on the belt. Now it's time to look at all of the details. Fake belts are getting better and better these days. So it's going to be the little things like pattern misalignment, frail stitching, poor quality, all that stuff. If you see just a slight thing out of place, like the alignment, the printing, indents, all that stuff, the buckle, don't buy the belt. But after watching this video and everything checks out, then you might have found yourself a really good deal. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you spot a fake Louis Vuitton belt. What'd you guys think about it? Comment down below your opinion like and share for that youtube algorithm but last but certainly not least subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video